Let me guess, you've been playing guitar for a while, maybe even decades. You have some experience playing with other people, you love the instrument, yet you feel that you are not progressing. In this video, I'm going to help you answer the question, how can you progress on the guitar way faster even if you've been playing for decades? Hello, my name is David and I help guitar players express themselves on the instrument. This is a very common thing to feel that you're not progressing. And, and you know what the cause is? It's this. This is the main reason you're not progressing. The reason you're stuck is that you're trying to master this and, and master the tool instead of using the tool as an instrument to express yourself. I guarantee that if you start thinking about music a little bit differently, your mastery of the instrument is really going to thrive. Check this out. I have a backing track, my guitar. Great, I could do this. But what happens if I do this though? Am I still a guitar player? Up here I am. I feel naked though. I, I don't really know. I feel uncomfortable. If only I had a guitar. I, I could play this. Well, you can hear it. It's right here. I could do this. I could do that. That's the key. The key is right here. If you can engage your mind, your inner ear, your inner musician, without the guitar, you're starting to connect with what's inside. As soon as I have thoughts that are music related, such as scales, key, technique, I'm gonna really try to forget them. This right here is a story. You're approaching this like a story that is being said. It gives you emotions. There's no, there are no words, but something's going on. This is an invitation for you to participate musically. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, so the first thing is to internalize the move. I, I know it feels kind of weird, but I promise it's really going to help you progress on the guitar. And then you're gathering some information, some emotions in there. Kind of happy, kind of comfortable, and I need to adapt to what is being heard on the backing track in this case. It could be with a band you're playing on. I need to adapt the pitches and the rhythm to what's being said musically. And we've done that on the channel multiple times, but that's really how I approach music anytime. And that's how I was able to go from a bedroom guitar player who practices scales and licks over and over, and then I would forget those, to a happy musician that enjoys creating and coming up with new things and all that. You can do that too. So we're gonna start with the backing track and I'm just going to imagine in my mind something that would really fit that. I'm gonna vocalize that. That's cool, I like that. I'm gonna grab my instrument, and I'm gonna to try to find those notes, those pitches on the guitar. The four different pitches here. Here's the first one, the second, the third, back to that first one, and then here's the fourth pitch. When I'm looking at my instrument, I can associate those pitches that I'm singing da, 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 with strings and frets. And so I'm starting on the second string here, frets five, six, eight, back to five, and then third string, seven. Five, six, eight, five, seven. It's helpful because of this. I'm putting the guitar down again. Remember? Five, six, eight, five, seven. And you can kind of picture in your mind what's going on on the second string. Five, six, eight, five, and then seven on the third string. Okay, here's the backing track again. Now, if I sing this, you could picture what's going on with the guitar, right? That, that lick. Try this, just picture this. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. Hopefully you're picturing five, six, eight, five, seven. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. Now picture this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Same pitches, right? Yes, I'm using the same exact pitches and you know where those pitches are. Five, six, eight, five, seven. 
Now, doing this exercise without the guitar naming those frets or visualizing what's going on is exactly what should happen when you are creating music. And oftentimes we completely forget about that. The thing is, when we have our guitar, we tend to think in terms of patterns, shapes, positions, licks, and that's cool, but those are things that we have learned in the past. And because music is a living language, the musical conversations you have or we have in a band or over a backing track or even when you're writing should be something new to some extent. Now you might say, that's all good, David, but when I am improvising, jamming with other people, I, I can't afford to ask the band to stop playing and then sing in my head and do that work. You're right, that's where the automatic type of playing is very handy, and you shouldn't completely forget about the automatic licks that you know, the things that are kind of free form. However, I wanna challenge you to try to incorporate this type of exercise where you're singing something over a backing track. Here's a new one, I don't know the key. Try to imagine what you wanna play, figure it out on the guitar, do that during your practice session, and then when you have to play, live with an audience or on the fly, yeah, that will come in kind of naturally. But for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this work, so listening to the track. Uh, maybe, or maybe. I like that, let's figure that one out. Yeah, that works great. Each pitch is associated with a placement on the guitar. And from there, I can extract other melodies using the same notes. All right, let's go back to that situation where you don't have time to prepare that in your head and play it. Open jam night. Here's the backing track. We're in C sharp minor pentatonic. Yeah, it probably would be an A, but let's use the same backing track. So you're relying on those licks that you know. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's simplify that. Okay, typical lick, classic. I associated the pitches to strings and frets, I know where they're played. So from that, I can extract other simple melodic lines. Now that you get the concept, watch this playlist. This playlist goes more in depth and it will teach you how to really use this as your instrument. The author tells the story, not the pencil. This is your pencil. I'll meet you right here.